Welcome to Jasmine Masters class. Etiquette. I am Jasmine Masters. Propriety. And I have something to say. Today, we're talking about some money, baby. That's right, coin thotters. Do you really need that extra pair of shoes? Or do you need to pay your phone bill? I think you should pay your phone bill because that shoe is not going to answer a call and put money in your pocket. Don't let people borrow money you don't want to lose. You give a bitch $50, you say buy to that 50 because they may or may not pay your back. Anything can happen. Bitch, they could fall over and die. You're not getting that $50 back. It's just gone. Get over it. They asking for money anyway, so, you know, chances are, seven out of 10, they blowing they shit. And on that note, guess what? Another just sent me a letter. So let me see what my jish had to ask me so I can help my jish get their jish. And I know it's about money, because we on money today, jish. Uh, money as it is. <laughs> Dear Jasmine, money has been tight around these parts lately, and I desperately want to buy my boyfriend something nice. Though with no money, I don't know how I will afford anything for him. Do I have any good ideas? that can make him feel good. Okay, cheap and thoughtful, write a nice letter. If you express your emotions on a piece of paper, I'm sure if your mate have a heart, it would touch them there. Cause sometimes it's not all about having money and buying a person a gift. It's always about just letting a person know how you really feel. Baby, you guys will be Bam! I've done it before and it worked. I had money to buy my booze something, but I just thought of the idea one day and it worked. And on that note, I have one more letter from one of my jushies. Let me see what's going on with their money situations. Uh oh, oh Lord. Bills and bills and more bills. It said, Dear Jasmine, my rent is due next week and I'm short on cash. What is the best way to make a hundred bucks without disrespecting my morals? Let me tell you something, Jim. If you keep your credit good and you have a legit job and you have a bank account, you could go to Speedy Cash and take you out of loan. You may have to pay 300 at the beginning of the month to pay them back because the interest and all that bullshit. Nobody got time for that. But you need a hundred dollars. Or pick up some cans. There's a lot of cans on the street. You could pick up cans and come up with a hundred dollars. I wouldn't go asking people for money because sometimes the person said, well, you need a hundred dollars and I need some Then guess what? Then, you know, they're treating you like a hoe. Go get you a loan. Pay it back. You're not hoeing. You're just owing. <laughs> I like that. You're not hoeing. You're just owing. <laughs> But no, just <laughs> go get along. You know what? You know, you know, you know, you know, I don't want to be smoking this reefer. But they just take me back to a time, you know, I can just. <sighs> I was about 19 years old, fake ID and all. Me and my friends is out. One of my friends spent all his money at the bar. Really didn't have a lot, but he always wanted something to eat. And I always wanted something to drink. So one of my friends got tired and said, bitch, if I buy you something else, you are gonna be at $40 that you gonna owe me. And at that 40, if I don't go home and give me no piece of ass and head, you gonna give me some piece of ass and some head. You better figure out, do you want this drink? Cause you gonna be at the $40 mark and that means I'm getting something from you. The bitch said, nah, nah, nah. But you know what, 10 minutes later, that bitch got another drink. So I know when we dropped them off, they was bumping and grinding because that bitch put out because she didn't have no money to drink and she wanted to drink. I don't put out. I do without. If I got to put out for something, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I don't need anything that bad to where I need to go hoe. What if they ugly? See, I couldn't be a hoe because you got to be open to anybody. You know what I mean? This man got 600, he uglier than a and you got to spend three hours with him Bitch, you gotta get so f***ed up to lay down with this ugly and stank you at that because you need $600. What the f***? Get away from me, bitch. Why? I know a lot of hoes who've been hoeing for years. And I know they say, bitch, the money good, but I need to know, bitch, what your ass feel like? What do your, what, what your throat feel like, bitch? What do your 
feel like? What do y'all feel like? That's a lot of grabbing and rubbing and wooing and wooing, you know, to make a little jump change. It's not that much change in the world to make me home. I know it's an easy dollar, but pride. Pride, deeper love. Pride, not my hoe. Not my throat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pride, not my gist. <laughs> All right. So let me put this out, cause you know I don't do incense with my weed. So what did we learn today? We learned that I will not be a good hoe. And we also learned if your credit good and you have a good checking account, you can also go to Speedy Cash or one of these check cashing places and get along. So that way you don't have to hoe, but you just have to owe. <laughs> no hoeing, just owing. And then we also learned about Heartfelt gifts. Write a nice note. You are the best gift to me every day. Now, give me some. <laughs> if you know you don't have the money to go out and have some fun, it's something you should do about that. Keep your at home. H-O-M-E is where you need to be. On the couch, in the bed, watching TV, or sleep. You cannot afford to go out. So don't go out until you do have the money to go out and have a good time. Until then. <laughs> I'm going to save my coins, get my dish, and see you soon. That's a lot of rabbing and rubbing and wooing and no one.